Hi there. Welcome to Irish Outlaw Garage. This is going to be the first video of many videos on our 1968 Pontiac Superior Ambulance. Superior, you know, like the best, but it doesn't look like the best. So anyway, I need to show you a few things about this car before I start all the main videos. Tomorrow we are going to start moving this thing around. It's Saturday. I I play music and I got to play tonight. Very very important show with the with the young gentleman that's up and coming. I think he's going to be pretty something you know something special. So I'll give you a rundown real quick of what kind of car we're taking if we get to 500 subscribers. But more than likely 500 or not, we'll take it anyway. And besides that, I've been working on all these vehicles we have around here for you know our summer vehicles, Jeeps stuff like that that everybody wants to drive in the summer so i ain't really got started on artemis yet artemis is a 1968 pontiac superior ambulance uh we found him in basically i call it a swamp it's a slough we was up to above our ankles in water when we pulled him out and that was when it was at low tide so um and he belonged to a small town in illinois he was their fireman slash ambulance coroner's car purse you name it he did it so let me give you a little rundown on him so i i hope because i already had the motor built so let me just give you a rundown of the motor real quick all right so it's a little hard to get back in here because, you know, I've got, oh, look at those in boxes. I wonder where those are going. So, Artemis' power plant, right here, is the original 1968 400 Pontiac. I had to rebuild this motor because I did get it running. It sat since 1983. I did get it running, and we did drive it, except for the fact that I couldn't get a exhaust manifold out on this side i ended up cutting the stud off and left the stud out and no matter how i hated it, it it wasn't going it just wasn't going i did everything i could but when i went to pull the intake off i looked down at the camshaft and i can show it sometime the original cam but the original cam was so rust pitted from sitting in water that it it was you know it, it needed to come out so i took it out and in my very first video i ever made back in december really awful terrible video there are some funny things i will say that because i laugh at them but i think i'm funny sometimes but don't all we dads think we're funny so anyway i did have to get a different set of heads on a 400 pontiac that i had back there that was a whole fiasco they're 4x they're not the greatest heads but they'll work we got the same valves as the original 16s or 15s or whatever the hell i, I don't remember i did convert it to hei i had to steal hei out of that from my mustang because my son I, I don't know he he messed up the hei somehow so i just stole the guts out of it but i've got plenty of that stuff um but he is completely from the crank up other than the pistons you know the maintenance stuff he is new new rings new mains new everything uh crank was believe it or not was awesome in it that is the original 400 turbo transmission to this car so this is a matching numbers pair for that car and i'm going to make sure i keep it that way i am not leaving that little holly 600 on there though i'm going bigger because this thing's got a little bit of giddy up now so i do have all the air conditioning for this car too i don't know if i'll get to that or not but we'll see but uh if you want to watch the engine build on this my very first video there's a picture of it scroll down you can watch through that two hours of ridiculous because i should not have gone two hours so there's your motor and transmission. Now let's get to Artemis himself. Artemis, 1968 Pontiac, based off of the Catalina Bonneville. Okay, got the Coke bottle side, all that stuff. I did knock some dents out of it. This is how we found it, other than covered in shit. And I'll, you'll see some videos of that. I will get to that. The windshield has one little spot right there. And play to God, this don't get broke because this is special made for this car so 
uh, yeah, we don't want that to break. This is off my javelin, the old ones. We'll just forget we saw that. Uh, I did replace all the brakes, brake lines, you name it, it was changed. This thing is ready to go. This is out of my, look at that. There's my world record brake line out of the Malibu. It's nice. But all I've really got to do is this is we're going to start on it tomorrow. Amber is. We're going to clean all this up. Check the wiring. You know, it actually ain't too bad. Like, you know, normally from sitting over water like this, it'd be so hard and nasty. And it's not. It looks pretty good, actually. But I do need a battery. I need to make myself a battery thing. And uh, down here on this here uh, core support is, well, you know, we'll put some duct tape on that. We'll be fine. Maybe some wood glue. Uh, like I said, all the air conditioning stuff is still here. I got all the stuff inside, but we may get to that at another time. All these lights work, okay? They work. So, let's see here. What could I do? I could show you the inside. You really want to see the inside? Just listen to me, Artemis. Not today. This, this car is haunted, I'm telling you. But look at all this. This is all original. This is the only spot besides on the other side there in the corner where this is bad you can see my metal job yeah that's this seat has got to come out it is shot you know rightfully so it's gone if anybody has a period correct steering wheel for this thing i would take it i will buy it from you because i thought about putting a fancy one on here and amber really wants the old school uh steering wheel this is her car it's not mine but, um, see if I can get the seat. There, there. Damn it. Come on. There we go. Yeah. See, there's a, there's a floor. And, uh, you know, where there used to be a floor. So, we got to take this seat out. And I may buy floors for this. I don't know. But I may just, you know, take the old hood I got from my cutlass. But, uh, that's the gist of it. I mean, she's, you know, nasty. Both sides of the floor are gone. I did buy, you know, this is all new accelerator pedal and all the stuff. Because uh, I was going to work on this before we decided to go to Power Tour. But, uh, you know, it's got all of its stuff. Look at that door. Isn't that cool? All the windows scroll down. This big-ass window rolls down. And then here's all your little places for, you know, all your ambulatory or your supplies for when you got a hearse or when it's... Uh, when it's a, uh, uh, yeah, when it's that thing, uh, coroner car. This is the original air cleaner, and these are the original Pontiac Motor Division hubcaps. I have all four. The original rims I have two, and they're they're done. But this is all original. You know, uh, we are going to take this down, or maybe fix as much. I'm not real sure what her plan is it's like i said her car this is stuck down it does have the sliding rear glass i'm not going to try it because it'll break more than likely so let's go around here this might be where i stick a fuel cell because i'm having a hell of a time finding a uh, a uh, fuel tank for this thing although you know it's possible this does work we had to dig this out and this window will be replaced uh, with that crap they use to put in NASCAR windows. My buddy that owns his uh, window place is putting the one in the Javelin. He's going to make me a window for this. This does open. It's just a pain in the butt right now. This is the hood. And it's rusty and crusty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? At least I think it's beautiful. But uh, some of the problems I'm going to run into. This here is my transmission cross member. And this has what they call the isolators, you know, the, the rubbers that sit on this. And this is completely rusted off. It's supposed to be about that long. And it's gone. So, trying to find a new one. I'll probably just put one on. A buddy of mine just sent me a picture, matter of fact, that I, he has one that's, uh, that's, you know, it should work. And I can just bolt it. That's... You get rid of, you know, you get a little more vibration that way, but whatever. So, these, by the way, these are Edelbrocks. Freaking Edelbrock. 
and a buddy of mine had these and they're five on five these are big wheels just like a chevy truck and uh i've got all four of these and we may just use them it's you know i ain't leaving these big ass tires on here but we may just use these they look like hell like the rest of the car they match pretty good you know they there's some aftermarket ones that kind of look like those out of rocks but you know i don't want to those are chevy c10 rallies too big tires are too big anyway but it got it where it's going the nose is a one year 1968 and it is perfect there's nothing wrong with it and that excited me when i found the car so yeah i mean i have everything for it i even have the original quadrant junk it, they're they're not really junk i it, this one was so froze up i just didn't want to mess with it i may soak it and see if i can't get it working but is from what i put in that motor no i don't think that thing will keep up so uh yeah the only real bad bad spots are you know these right here but i think we can sand these down and we'll just fill them for now i'm not i'm no body guy i don't restore i put on the road so we're gonna put this thing on the road and i like the patina of it the real bad spot is right here i put this piece of sheet metal on it the guy had it sitting you gotta remember this thing sat since like 1983 or 4 and uh it just dripped right out of a tree right there the whole time and it wore a hole in her so that's what we got and this is what we're bringing and yeah we're gonna race it might even have a call out real soon maybe the lightest pontiac in the world against the heaviest pontiac in the world we're gonna see we're gonna find out so i thought i'd give you a rundown i've been so busy i had to clean up amber's jeep and move my cars around that gives you i'll just look i did move my no power into the back in aiden's jeep that i'm waiting on some parts for and then these are all my babies you know and this turd but yeah so anyway there's a lot to come here we're gonna start on this thing tomorrow and we're filming it all if amber's working on it aiden zeppelin me my other oldest skylar we start working on this thing it's gonna be it's gonna be recorded and you're gonna see every bit of it i'm gonna try to keep them short and sweet um but we're gonna try for it we get 500 or more subscribers you know I'm hoping for more than that because I'm serious. If I get uh, if I get up there to 500, I may bring them all because, yeah, it's a lot of money. But at the same time, I think I told Buzz from Roadkill Customs this. I said, you know, I'm not really going to win any races. I'm not going to show my cars. I'm going because I, I really enjoy the live feeds. I enjoy the people that have subscribed to me and I subscribe to them. I found a whole new love of people that had the same interests as me and that's just cars it don't matter where when a track a car show or just just take them for a drive you know i love the fact that people get the kids in involved you know uh and i appreciate that i, I uh, that's what i do my kid my youngest zeppelin is a motorhead he's <laughs> wow motorhead so anyway i haven't really done this with a camera so i hope i don't screw it up but i got to get ready for a gig uh, a little town here not too far away from my house it's my sound system i gotta play some drums so y'all take care of yourself we're gonna start filming on this thing tomorrow oh and a little update on the javelin i got it in to get it aligned she's good to go except for the rear ends falling apart so I don't know i think we may just send it and you know while i got all this going on and i'm so busy why not buy another car so i did you'll be seeing that whenever i get back from power tour i'll maybe do a little bit on it it's uh but anyway hopefully i get to no name nationals in my cars to compete which you know if i can get 23s or 24s in an eighth of a mile in this thing we're doing good so i'm glad uh, somebody turned me on to all this and i'm sure glad they did i'm not a name dropper so i'm, I'm not going to do that 
but you'll, I have a feeling you'll see, be seeing a lot of me and this person doing things. I hope in the future it's it's uh, it's it's going to be interesting. So I'm going to shut this thing off and get to my gig. You guys, take care of yourself. Subscribe, like, notifications, all that crap, because I've got some crazy stuff coming up with this car. So. Y'all be good. Take care. We'll see you on the flip side.